Okay, next thing we need to review is that big crazy diatonic chord progression thing that we looked at. Now, if you remember what that tells us is it tells us all the chords in a given key. Okay, so here's how we make it. First, we could, we're just gonna take, let's just start with the scale. And we'll do this in the key of C major. So we're just gonna make a C major scale for an octave. Okay. And now we don't actually even need to draw in the rest of the notes. Well, if we did draw in the rest of the notes, we would take every other note. So we'd skip D, we'd go to E, and we'd put that above C. And then if we're on E, we'd skip F and go to G, and we'd put that there. Next one, we'd go D, we'd skip E, we'd add F. We'd skip G, and we'd add A. And we'd just keep going up like that and build triads out of everything. But we don't even really need to do that. Here's our major scale. The other thing we need to finish and know the diatonic chord progressions is just the pattern. We don't need to draw out all the notes we can, and sometimes that's useful, but all we really need to remember is the pattern. And remember the pattern is major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, and then major again, because this one is the same as that one. So how do we use those? If we're in the key of C major and I said, make me an F chord in C major or a chord built on F in C major, you should be able to tell me if that's gonna be a major or a minor chord. So all you have to do is think F is the fourth scale degree in C major, one, two, three, four. And if we count up the pattern, uh, it is major, minor, minor, major is the fourth one. So the fourth chord quality in our diatonic chord progression is major. The fourth note of our scale is major, therefore, or is F, therefore F major is the four in the key of C. Let's try it in a different key. Let's just zoom ahead here a little bit and let's do it in the key of D. Okay, so let's just write out a D major scale. Okay, so same pattern applies. If we make chords in this key, in the key of D major, our first one is gonna be a major chord, our second one's gonna be a minor chord, our third one is gonna be a minor chord, fourth one's gonna be a major chord, fifth one is gonna be a major chord, sixth one is gonna be a minor chord, seventh one is gonna be that weird diminished chord, and then back to the tonic, which is going to be a major chord. So that's the diatonic chord progression. It's gonna be important to know in this class going forward, because once we get into minor keys, it starts switching up a little bit. And we gotta do, but not really. You'll see what I mean. But just remember, that's how it works. And we will uh, introduce minor keys and the minor diatonic chord progression shortly.